Hey guys, Ken Smith, Ken Smith Fishing. Um, I've gotten a number of questions about uh, from, from aspiring YouTubers uh, about how to shoot the best video, uh, sort of the setup that I'm using, and um, were there any tips that I could give you guys to help you with, uh, with shooting your videos? And the answer is, yeah, I'd love to. Uh, I watch a lot of YouTube video. Matter of fact, I'm watching more and more YouTube video uh, all the time, probably as much as I watch TV these days. So a couple of things uh, I'll share with you. Number one, and, and anybody who works in the uh, audio video world, uh, the TV world if you will, will tell you is audio is the key. So I have been, if you remember some of my early stuff, my audio was bad and it's still not always great because of my challenges with microphones. So I shoot most of my on the water footage with one of two cameras. Um, my original camera was an old Hero 3 Plus. Uh, all the footage until about three months ago, two months ago actually, was shot on this camera. And it's been a great little camera for me. It's pretty much run its life. It doesn't always want to come on. It doesn't like to recharge. So uh, thanks to some folks, some friends over at Trifecta Agency, uh, they connected me with the GoPro folks and uh, I now have a beautiful GoPro 7 Black. This is the baddest camera on the market right now. Um, it has an internal stabilizer. It allows you to shoot at, at whatever, in a portrait or landscape, the other one, if you wanna do Instagram videos. Uh, I highly, highly recommend this camera, but, and not but, the key to this footage is this. Don't get cheap on your disc. And I just realized this the other day because you're gonna spend as much time editing as you spend filming. And what you want is a really high speed read write on your video, on your, on your disc. Um, I am using the Extreme Plus, and yes, it is more expensive, Actually, I want to make sure I'm telling you correct. I'm going to stop this video and look at the card I'm using right now. I'm pretty sure it's the Extreme Plus. Forgive me for one second. Okay, I checked. I am using the Extreme Plus. I'm shooting on a 64 gig card. I will tell you, that'll give you about a half a day footage. I just have not spent the money to buy a 128 gig uh, Extreme Plus card yet. Uh, I will eventually do that. I do all of my editing now. The best thing I can find, now I originally used the GoPro software, but I am, in, I am finding that iBook, uh, iMovie on my wife's Mac actually is a better editing software. It's pretty intuitive, it's pretty easy to use, it's got good graphics, it's got the exchanges like this one right here. So you can do stuff like that. With, uh, with the iMovie uh, that you can't do or I never could figure out how to do with GoPro. I know there's a lot of video set editing software out there. Um, although I'm doing this a lot, this is still 100% a hobby for me. I am an insurance agent in Dallas, Texas. I mean, you need life insurance or property casualty insurance on your business, I'm glad to help you. Um, this is purely a hobby for me. So um, I, I try not to spend tons of money on my hobby. Um, and I mentioned earlier, so the, the key to all this is your audio. Uh, the GoPros really don't have a great solution to plugging in uh, remote mics uh, for video footage. Unbelievably, a guy named Donald McCormick gave me two lavalier mics, so that basically is the little, you, you probably see I've got a, boom, 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 I've got a mic here it's run down and I've got this little remote in my pocket and I'm shooting this on a JVC which is my most recent and my biggest purchase so, so far I found a used JVC 4G camera it's about a thirteen or fourteen hundred dollar camera and I bought it from a really nice fella 
uh, off of Facebook for seven or eight hundred dollars. I don't remember now what I paid for it. And as you can see, it shoots great footage. Uh, my interview footage that I'm doing now, my weigh-in footage that I'm doing, and my future shows when I get guys in my boat, like when we shoot here in a, in a week, next week or two with Corey Stanley and Navionics, will be done with that 4G camera. So, um, again, speak. So when you're using your GoPros, speaking cl as close as possible to the camera will give you the best audio and wind is not your friend in shooting video. So you're always going to struggle even with a really nice camera and these type mics when you have windy days. Couple of other things I've recently purchased. My favorite footage, and actually I'm going to pull the camera off and show you how I shoot this in a second, but the way I like shooting best for fishing on the front deck is with a gooseneck, and it looks like this. That is my gooseneck setup, and you see uh, I bought it online somewhere, and your GoPro camera just, uh, so it's glued to the windshield, and the GoPro camera just attaches right there on top of it, and that's how I get those uh, sort of long shots. I know there's a bunch of junk on the boat. I had it all out to dry, but that's what I shoot from to shoot forward, and I, you know, the higher it is, to me, it seems like the better footage it captures, the better images it captures, so uh, there you go. So most of my footage is captured from there, or captured back there from where the light plugs in using that YOLO tech stick. Good Lord, what a mess my boat is right now. But hey, I fish hard, there we go. Okay, so that's my favorite. Unfortunately, I don't have a long enough cord right now to charge my GoPro camera there, my new 7. I need to order one this week. I just keep forgetting to do that. Hopefully, I'll remember to do that as I'm editing this video footage. So I bought two extra batteries and a remote battery charger, which I keep in the boat. So I'm rotating three batteries. If you keep it plugged in all the time with a 128 gig card, you could run that all day long. I bought this recently. This is a nifty little deal. It's called, and I bought it retail, it's called a Yolotech, Y-O-L-O-T-E-K power stick. It plugs into your light socket on the back. That's when y'all are seeing those long shots of my boat. It's shooting with the Yolotech. It will extend up pretty high, and it actually powers your camera during the day. So you can plug that in back there and run it all day long. And I think that's kind of a neat angle for shooting the video. I still prefer the, the video shot off the console, but I think it's a nice change of pace. I have never bought the chesty or the head thing uh, because I don't personally like that footage. And I love y'all's feedback on that. I think part of why a lot of the young guys do that is they're gamers. And the gamers, when you're in the shooting games and stuff, it's sort of that first person experience. I don't like seeing that just that guy's hands reeling those fish in. If you like seeing that and you tell me, I'll go buy one and I'll start shooting some of that footage. Uh, but my personal preference when I watch footage is I want to see everything that's going on in the boat, uh, not just the guy's hands and the fish jumping out, out somewhere or the line going through the water. But I'd love y'all's feedback on that, whether you really do like that footage or you like the style of footage that I'm shooting better. So what have we gone through? Uh, audio is key. There are ways to charge. Um, I added, by the way, so the new Ranger L boats all come with a, is it USB or UBS? USB, UBS is the bank, all come with a USB port instead of a um, cigarette lighter. So you can charge your phone and you can charge your, in our cases, our GoPro cameras in the boat. I actually, when I had my boat down for some service at uh, Texas Boat World with Cliff and those guys in Harker Heights, I had them pull my cigarette lighter out and they put me in the same spot, a double uh, UB, back I'm gonna do it again, USB charge port so I can charge everything in the boat here. It's really handy. By the way, boat manufacturers, put those in the glove box. It would be so nice to have, and I think Rangers, the new L boats do, but it'd be so nice to have them in just about every compartment. It can't be that much more to do that so we can actually charge uh, our cameras and our phones in the boat. And while you're at it, put a microwave and a coffee maker and, and seat warmers in my boat too. That would be kind of nice. <laughs> anyway, so that's how I'm shooting my video footage. One other hint, and this is huge. Um, on every one of my, actually I try to, 
on every one of my video shoots, I try to, let me start over there, try to keep your clips as small as possible, okay? And what I mean by that is don't shoot 50 minute long clips for a couple of reasons. Number one, they're much slower to edit, at least on our Mac, when you're trying to download a 50 minute video and working through them. What I do is every five to 15 minutes, I end the video and I start the video. And what I do is I walk towards that camera, is I give myself a thumbs up or I give myself a thumbs down. I want to keep that video footage. I don't want to keep that video footage. That helps in a whole bunch of ways, but when you're sitting on your couch at night editing that footage, you know you can just, you got a 17 minute clip, you can run to the last five seconds. And by the way, I try to do that for five or 10 seconds and you'll see why when you start doing this. So that when I get to the end of that clip and I see I'm walking to the back of the boat doing this, I can delete that footage and go on. There's nothing on there I want to watch. It makes editing so much easier. If you try to download a one hour clip from your card to your desktop to, make, to do these edits, it takes way longer than downloading 15 six minute clips. Trust me on this. It will make your editing so much easier than doing it the other way. I think that's everything that I'm doing right now for you guys that are just starting at this. Um, there's, there's some really good tutorials online and I don't want to become one of the guys that teaches you how to do YouTube. There's way smarter and better people at it than, than me. But I watch a lot of those videos. Uh, I use something called TubeBuddy that I pay a little service fee for that, that has helped me hopefully upgrade my videos. and. You know, I've grown my subscriber base about tenfold in the first year, uh, thanks to you guys. And you know, I'm trying to put content up that you enjoy. Uh, and I watch other people's videos to see what content I enjoy, not to copy their videos, but to give me ideas and teach me things I don't want to do. And you know, so I hope you're enjoying it, and I uh, hope you jump out there and start doing it too. And if you do, I'll watch your videos like I watch. Tactical Bassin and a whole bunch, and Tyler's Real Fishing and a bunch of other stuff that I really enjoy watching. So um, there you go. Hope that was helpful, guys. I feel like I forgot something. I just realized one other thing I would suggest to you to do, and I'm getting better at this. Um, when people are flipping through videos on YouTube, one of the things they're looking for is that it's called a thumbnail. So when they pull up the video, what picture is there? And if you will carry with you a good, uh, I call, still call these 35 millimeter, but a good digital camera and shoot a, shoot a good, <laughs> shoot a good digital image of a fish catch or an eagle or something, that makes a way better thumbnail than a clip out of a video. It's a bunch clearer. It's just a, it just makes for a better thumbnail. So uh, that's a little helpful hint I would suggest to you is keep your camera in the boat, snap a picture here and there, and use those as your thumbnails for the lead in because that really is the advertisement to your video. Thanks, guys. Uh, please subscribe if you don't. I really enjoy it, and thanks for the feedback. If you need me, you have questions for me, I usually respond pretty quickly either to Facebook or to emails at kensmithfishing at outlook.com. You guys have a good week. We'll see you at Outlaw Outdoors on March 10th here at Sam Rayburn.